What are the main difference between monocots and dicots? This is Homeschool Arcade, and let's check this out. So what are monocots and dicots? Well, monocot and dicot are actually shortened versions of the words monocotyledon and dicotyledons. So mono means one and di means two. But what is a cotyledon? Cotyledons are also known as seed leaves. Now, they are part of the seed that provides a seedling food until it can make its own food. So when a seedling first comes out of the seed and pops out of the soil, the cotyledon forms the first leaf or leaves. So when a plant has one cotyledon, it's called a monocotyledon or monocot. And when a plant has two cotyledons, it's called a dicotyledon or a dicot. So monocots and dicots are the two main groups of flowering plants, also called angiosperms. Now we know what differences the name of a monocot and dicot addresses, but there are also a few other differences between monocots and dicots. First of all, it's important to know that while there are some clear differences between these two groups, there are also some plants that don't fit perfectly into either. But today we're going to address six of the main differences that scientists use to separate the typical monocot and dicot. So here we go. Number one, as previously mentioned, Monocots have one cotyledon, and dicots have two cotyledons. Number two, monocot flowers usually have flower parts in groups of three, usually like three or six. So the stamens, petals, and other parts are found in multiples of three. Whereas dicots, on the other hand, usually have parts in multiples of four or five. So four, five, eight, ten, etc. Number three. If you check out this picture, you can see that monocot leaf veins generally run parallel to the length of leaves, and dicot leaf veins are, knows, uh, are known as reticulate venation. This means that they have minor veins branching off the major ones. Number four, the vascular bundles or xylem and phloem in monocots is scattered throughout the plant's stem or leaves, whereas dicot's vascular bundles are found in a ring. Now, if you'd like a refresher to learn more about the vascular system, you can check out our video on the topic, and I'll put the link right here for you. Number five, dicots generally only grow roots in one place at the very bottom of the seed or the seedling called the radical. Now, the roots in a monocot, however, are adventitious. This means that roots can grow out of different nodes on the stem, and this diagram will hopefully give you a good idea of what this means. Finally, number six. Dicots have the ability to increase the diameter of their stem and often are able to grow thick, woody stems like those seen in shrubs and trees. Monocots, on the other hand, are usually soft green and herbaceous, and once mature, the stems do not have the ability to add thickness like a tree. The one well-known exception to this difference are palms and agaves. Now, although they are considered to be monocots, they do grow tall and wood-like, similar to a typical dicot tree. So, now you know six main differences between monocots and dicots, and I hope you enjoyed this Homeschool Arcade video and learned something new. So, with that, don't forget to click like and subscribe to get notified when we come out with new videos with great educational content. You all have a good one.